Hello everybody, welcome back. As promised, we are here to lip swatch the new YSL Slim Glow Matte Lipsticks. Now there are 10 shades in the range available in Singapore and I only have 9 because there was a little bit of a mix up and I got duplicates of one of these shades. So the shade that I am missing in this swatch video is 204 which I will leave a link to in the description box below because Tentalia did some great swatches of the entire range and you should be able to see 204 for there. It's a deep, slightly cool tone, kind of rosy scarlet or red. I'm just looking at the product details online. This is supposed to be a long-lasting creamy matte lipstick in stunning modern nudes for every skin tone and it's supposed to leave your lips with a luminous glowing matte finish. Now that sounds like an oxymoron to have a glowing matte finish finish but the reason they make this claim is because the formula is shot through with some sparkly pigments so there's not enough for it to look like a metallic or pearlescent lipstick on your lips but there's just enough of a reflectedness that it bounces back a teeny tiny bit of light while retaining this kind of soft matte suede like finish. If you've used the original slim matte lipsticks with the gold metallic base, those are just creamy matte lipsticks. They are quite hydrating and comfortable on the lips, but they're not kiss proof. They're just more of a lightweight, suede like texture. If you like the kind of a luxe, very creamy, comfortable formula. They also have a second formula called the Slim Sheer Mattes, and those come with a silver base. Now, I do have a swatch video which I will link above. You can go and check that out after this video. As you can tell from the name, those are much sheerer but they still have that suede like velvety matte finish and they are quite hydrating on your lips they're not drying i would place the pigmentation level of the slim glow mattes between the previous two so it's not quite as opaque as the original slim mattes but it has definitely a lot more pigmentation than the slim sheer mattes i find these much easier to build up if you want a slightly more intense look but they will never never give you that ultra dense look that you would get from a traditional opaque matte lipstick. So why even have this in-between formula in the first place? Well there are some people who like that kind of a matte long wear finish that is also kind of luxurious and comfortable on the lips, not too drying, but you may not like that really flat suede like powdery texture of true matte lips and you want a little bit of a glow but you don't want the creaminess that comes along with a satin formula because those will kind of smear and kiss off way faster than a traditional matte formula. So this kind of attempts to give you the best of both worlds by being matte and having a little bit of reflectiveness as well. So if you have very small or thin lips this is far less likely to make your mouth appear too thin or too mean looking. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. Stop that. I hear I'm chat to the noise, move too quick, can't stop for the talking. I hear I'm chat with the boys, man, so tough, but mine's keep walking. Cold like zero degrees I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast Revolutionary guy, let out the streets Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Wake up, get out the sheets We came for one man, forget my peace You take the west, I'll take on the east I'ma put him in a cage, never let out the Let out the, let out the yeah. I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Not so tough, but minds keep walking, yeah Just too sharp with the prize White girls, let her tell me I'm awesome, yeah like fire on the pan If you wanna touch me, I'm please use caution Beg please get on your knees Came from the jungle, up in the trees I got a few tricks up in the sleeve One wrong move, I'ma let out the Let out the, let out the Big shoes, check out the crease Blow like I'm Bigfoot, step on the beat Make a man's run till he step out the cleats When the whole place scream, gotta get out the, get out the. Yeah. I, I hear him chat to the noise Move too quick, can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys Not so tough, but minds keep walking yeah. Just too sharp with the prize White girls better tell me I'm awesome, yeah Hot like fire on the pan If you wanna touch me, I'm free shoes caution Stop that Stop that Stop that Stop that Yeah, I hear him chat to the noise Can't stop for the talking I hear him chat with the boys
these are what I would consider a casual matte in the sense that, you know, it swipes on very easily, it feels very weightless and nice on the lips, but it's not going to give you that very, very dramatic, intense look that some matte lipsticks will. If you like that very precise, very dense, very rich kind of a lip look, you will need to layer these over a matching lip liner. You may have seen in some of the official images that the lipsticks look really dense and really opaque online. If you think you're going to get that, you will be very disappointed with these. They are nowhere as intense or as opaque as they are made out to be in the advertising images. I'm not saying that the semi-sheer texture is a bad thing. It's very comfortable, it's very casual, it's easy to put on without making a mess. If you didn't know, most campaign images are done with makeup artists layering a product over lip liner. They may be applying two, three coats of product. They may be mixing in other pigments and textures to make things look a certain way. And then after that, you have the post processing where, you know, in the studio, they're going to tweak the colors. They're going to even things out. There's a lot of photoshopping being done. So I just don't like it when brands come up with campaign images that are slightly misleading. I would just rather they sell this to us as is, you know, a semi-sheer, really comfortable, casual, easy to wear kind of a matte formula with a very soft glow to it. Now, I do understand that YSL was going for, you know, a collection of nice, wearable, nude tones. So a lot of skin-friendly, beige, brown-based tones. But I kind of wish that the shade variation was a little bit bigger. Now, I do particularly love a lot of the slightly more squash-like fall appropriate rusty colors. So this one I'm wearing now is 215 and I liked 213, 214 and 215 but 214 is virtually a mix of 213 and 215 so I could do without it being there and I would have preferred to see you know one slot in the collection freed up for say a slightly cooler tone dusty mauve beige. Having said that, I do still really like the line. I would sum it up as um, not the sort of line that I would go to to look for a special occasion lipstick. This is the kind of line where I would pick out maybe one or two favorite colors and these would be staples I would chuck in my purse to pull out, you know, as a backup shade any day when you're not sure what to wear. For a final quick check, I'm just going to do a quick blot. Very, very light stain on the sheet of tissue here, if you can see it. So this is meant to be a long wear formula, but it's not really drying. It's not going to parch your lips. It never promised to be transfer proof, but I'm doing this to show you the amount of transfer that you would get. And that's it. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you have a particular favorite shade, please let me know what it is. Or, you know, if you're going to pass on this collection and wait for something else, let me know as well. I will see you in the next video.